looks good. Yeah, I forget. You know, I was just thinking I didn't hit save, so I hope a revised came <laughs> oh, through. No. <laughs> All right, let me make sure here. Uh... Got them to you in PDF too, right? Oh, you sent them in PDF form. I tried to. Um, All right. That's what it here. said I did. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if I can get it uploaded here. EXP. So SP. Uh, I don't know if that's it. Let's try it. Just uploading, give it a second. Okay. Good. It looks like uh, um, it did click. I didn't have to hit save, I don't think. Oh, that's right. With Google, you probably didn't need to anyway. Yeah, worked out well. All right, I've got that PDF it's loading now. It's just taking a bit. It takes just a bit to load PDFs. This is a huge file, too. So just a minute, and we should see it on this screen right here behind you. And we've got mm. about four minutes, so we need to get started. So we're good. We should be fine. Oh, here it comes. All right, there we go. So all I need you to do is, do you see the presentation tool here in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen? I do. Oh, uh-oh, where did it go? I don't know. Upload error, error during conversion process. Oh, no. All right, let's try again. How nice. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> So so Never good. Seen that it was, before. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Right. One more try I should work here. We'll be okay. Now, how do you feel about sharing the PDF with the audience? If I posted this link there in the chat box and they could follow along, what would you think about that? Um, those are kind of proprietary with what I do. Yep, no problem. That's why we ask. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, uh, this should work. If it doesn't work a second time, we can try to just post that Google link. It wouldn't be the ones you edited, but you would just have to know to skip over the ones that you weren't gonna use today. So that's our backup. Right. Yeah. 
All right, I'm trying to think if there's another way to do that. Um, I wonder if I shared my screen. If I pulled it up. But yeah, like you said, that would be the same thing. To do a crank wheel, yep. Yeah. Let's just give it another few minutes. Probably the largest file <laughs> I've uploaded, so that, that might be I know. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. That's to I should have oh. really pared that down. That's awesome. Let's just give it a second here. And I can do it without it if I need to. Okay. But it, it's always helped to have... Um, yeah, absolutely. to have that. Yeah, absolutely. can everybody can every can everybody hear us? That's in there. Uh, no, I actually have that private volume, so they can't oh. hear us now. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, so it looks like it's creating the conversion, saving conversion. Looks good so far, so good. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Actually, oh, so these look good. So do you see here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, the little blue arrow to make the slides go back and forward? Very bottom uh, of the presentation tool. Yes, 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 there. yes. Perfect. Can you yep. try clicking on that to make them go forward and back just to make sure they work? Perfect. All, All right. right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get started then. I'm going to unmute these guys and do your intro. Cool. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Come on in. Welcome to track four. This is our sales track, and today we are so lucky to be featuring Glenville and the SOS Challenge. Come on in, everyone. Can everyone hear me? Give me a thumbs up in that chat box if you can hear me today. Perfect. All right. Well, as I said, welcome to track four. Today we are so lucky to be featuring Glenville and the SOS Challenge. Before we get started, there are a couple of housekeeping items that I want to make sure to cover. Folks, my name is Candace Garcia. I am here with EXP University. I've got some of my teammates here with me as well today. We're going to be helping Glenn by monitoring this chat box here. I'm sorry, yep, five pillars of success, guys. We're going to be here monitoring this chat box to assist Glenn. If you have any questions about shareholders, you can let us know in that chat box in the bottom left-hand corner. You can also click on the shareholder icon in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. As I said, there's just a couple of housekeeping items that we wanna cover before we get started. Everyone, please make sure to leave your microphones on mute for the duration of the course. We wanna give Glenn plenty of time to get through his slides. If you've got a question, go ahead and ask in that chat box in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm sure Glenn will leave some Q&A time at the end of his session as well. If you begin to have any audio issues, you can try leaving the world and coming back in. You can also try uh, calling in via the EXP World mobile app and listening in that way. If you continue to have audio issues, you can head over to our tech department. Uh, Stephanie, yes, this course is being recorded today, so you will be able to read it later. We're also going to be posting a survey link at the end of this session. So if you love what you hear today, make sure to show Glenn some love. Click on that link and get that survey completed. Before I hand it over to Glenn, Glenn, I just want to thank you so much for coming in and for everything that you've done for us, everything that you do for EXP and our agent. It's been so amazing getting to hang out with you and get to know you the last couple of days. I'll be here if ever there's anything you need, as will our staff. So just let us know. And ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute honor to introduce Mr. Glenn Bill. Thank you, Glenn. Hello, hello. Good afternoon and good morning, EXP. It's so fun to be with you. If you could give me a thumbs up, give me something in that chat box, because ultimately what I want to do is make sure that we engage with you. Hey, it's great to see everybody. All right. So I am a uh, high energy, high engaging speaker and um love all the feedback so just uh uh keep on typing and let, let let me feel the love and i hope you feel the love that i'm giving you um there's nothing more uh than i love than talking to my fellow real estate brokers i've been in the business for 31 years 
Uh, I own three Century 21 offices, been recognized as one of the top 10 agents in the cut in the world for them, top 10 brokers in the world, top 10 team leaders. But ultimately, I know that you guys don't really care about me. All, all that you really should care about is you. And um, through my uh, years as a real estate broker, I built my company based on our sales meetings. And um, through owning our company for 17 years, for some reason, uh, I wrote down and took every note from every sales meeting that I did over 17 years building a fairly large company and i turned it into what is called the source of sales challenge uh i i i would ask you i'd love to know type in your chat how old were you when you guys got into this business just go ahead and type in your age when you guys started and i'll tell you a little bit about when i started i started in this business there we go i love it i love it everybody oh this is awesome it's so good so far i don't see anybody that started younger than me whitney brown you're close um so it's so great to have you guys it's so great to see where you're at i started in this business at 19 years old i was broke i was a former division one college athlete and i became the number one producer of a 75 man company within the first 12 months uh, because I believe real estate is simple. I believe people are making real estate way too complicated. People are selling you and um, training you on things that really only benefit them. And so I was broke when I started in this business. And the Source of Sales Challenge is all about how you can become the master of your market without buying leads, without paying coaches for accountability, and truly understanding the source of your business. So the SOS Challenge stands for Source of Sales Challenge. And what I'm here to do with you today is to give you some pretty cool little tips on how to master the five pillars. And those five pillars are simply, number one, personal mastery. You cannot become a master or a top producer without first mastering yourself. And so our source of sales challenges, it's literally a 10 hour course. Um, I have uh, a box of 10 different CDs. We have a workbook. I'm not going through all that today, but I'm just gonna try to hit on a few different things as we go through the source of sales. That, and if you said, hey, this sounds good, I'd really like to enter the Source of Sales program with Glenn, you can. We do have a Facebook group that I'm going to be live each and every week on. And if you just go to Source of Sales, it's high performance sales for realtors and loan originators, you will uh, be able, and it's free, to uh, get me each and every week. And we're going to be doing raw and real sales training. And we're going to be doing raw and real question and answers because, you know, ultimately, uh, I sold 10 homes last week, right? Like in the middle of the pandemic, uh, I am a guy that is from the street that started with nothing, uh, still is in front of buyers and sellers. And uh, that's why I think I'm a little bit different than most people that are talking about selling. I'm actually selling. So number one is personal mastery. Number two is prospecting mastery. And what we help people with is how to, the Facebook group is source of sales. I'm going to print that in here, Source of Sales Facebook group, and we just opened that up, Source of Sales. I'm typing it in right now. Um, so prospecting mastery, I can give you scripts and dialogues, but what I get is your mindset, how to get your mind right on why we prospect, why we don't prospect, and what we need to do. So there's you, there's prospecting. The other two pillars are what? Buyers and sellers. I will teach you how to master all of your buyers, I have a, I have a little thing, uh, selling homes in 10 showings or less, very rarely, and I'm guessing many of you, you know, anymore, we should not be showing more than 10 homes make a sale. And uh, then setting the table with our sellers, I'm gonna give you a few questions today that'll be good. And um, it's just such a pleasure. Then the last pillar is value, right? How do we define value? How do we communicate value? How do you get people to value who you are and ultimately, I have the 21 ways to stop the, to beat the commission objection. So we know our commissions are under attack. And if people do not feel the value 
<coughs> excuse me, and people, and we cannot communicate the value. How in the world are we going to be able to charge higher fees? So I'm a big, high, I'm the, I, have, I have the highest fees in our uh, market. And if in the event you ever go through the source of sales training with me, you will become the master. There's a big workbook page. Uh, and you'll do that. A another thing that I've done is I have written an international best-selling book called The ABCs of Attitude. Um, I'm frequently referred to as America's number one attitude keynote speaker. So I go around the country and give talks on attitude and the uh, sources in our book. You can buy my book on Amazon. Hit me with an email. I'd be happy to send you one. There's actually a book and a workbook for the ABCs of Attitude course. And um, I'm a, just a big believer that everybody in this room, everybody on this call, look at you are the key to your success, period. And that's why I believe you're at EXP. EXP has the most entrepreneurial agents that I've ever seen. Uh, and it's an honor that you're giving me 45 minutes to talk to you. So um, uh, I'm going to try to get through as many of these slides as I can. If you are a study of attitude, if you like personal development, if you're not uh, fulfilled if you're not if you don't have the energy if you don't have the vitality and let's face it sometimes you just need a kick in the ass right well look at I drop a podcast every single Tuesday with the biggest influencers in the nation and the real estate mortgage and uh, business industries check me out at the gap the get attitude podcast we help focus you on how you get to um, how you bridge the gap from where you are to where you want to be and from who you are to who you want to become, that's just a little bit about what we do. And so I want to talk about this very first pillar, which is self-mastery. And the self-mastery is very simple, right? Uh-oh, let's see now. There we go. Before you master others, you first must master yourself, right? So if we expect to influence buyers and sellers, we must first understand that that in order for us to really influence other people, we must first be able to influence ourselves. And so the question is, um, I'm sorry you can't see the screen. Hopefully somebody will put it up there. Uh, the question is, is how influential are you when it comes to you? Uh, do you Have you mastered yourself? Uh, when we talk about how to master yourself, that obviously I can't get done in 10 minutes for you. But what I want you to understand is today, we are going to have to uh, in, in this little session that we have, we are going to have to um, ask ourselves a lot of questions. So I hope you have a pen and a paper because what you're really going to get out of this self is me asking you a bunch of questions for some self-analysis. And I think that, you know what, we can't master ourselves unless we ask ourselves, right, quality questions. We know that the quality of your life determines or is determined by the quality of questions you ask yourself about your life and the quality of your business is going to be determined by the quality of questions you ask yourself about your business so um, here we go if you're uh, ready to go give me hit me with some thumbs up and I'm gonna give you some stuff that hopefully will blow your mind will wake you up and will say ah this is good so this isn't really the how-to training but this is Hey, man, I need to check myself before I wreck myself and all that, right? Guatemala, Buddha. I'm a big fan of Buddha. I think he knows that in order for us to influence others, we must first master ourselves. And your most important questions for success is this. What is your source of sales? Like, what is it? I believe that it is you, but it is also your customers, right? And that's it. So it's like we are focusing on mastering yourself and we are focusing on mastering your customers and we are focusing uh, on what are you doing to engage your customers, to teach your customers, to lead your customers, to lead your community that makes people say this person is a leader and this person is somebody that I want to do business with. I always love to ask real estate agents, how many phone calls do you get where people just call you up and say, hey, list my home? And the bottom line is the, the answer is not enough. And when we talk about marketing, marketing is not getting my name out into the community. Marketing is getting the community's name into my inbox. Again, I, I wish I had all day. I got 10 hours. But I want you to think about what are you doing to get buyers and sellers calling you 
not you calling them. And a healthy business is a balance of, of both. But what is your source of sales? Is it a person? Is it money? Is it your children? Is it your spouse? Is it you? Like what is your source, right? Who is your source of sales? Who are you following? Who are you studying? Who are you learning from? Who is influencing you? And how many times are you checking in with those people to measure your success and what you want to do? See, here's what I've found. The formula for success in anything is about a half dozen things make up 80% of the difference. And the formula is, is if you keep looking for those very few things that make the most difference and spend your time on them, you eventually will become more successful, more fulfilled, have a better life, and hopefully a better bank account. So when I say there's a half dozen things, that's why I've limited the source of sales to saying, I got to master myself. I got to master prospecting. I got to master buyers. I got to master sellers. And I have to master my message, my value message on why people um, do that. So you tell me what uh, you can feel free to type in. What do you think are the, the most important half dozen things you can do for your business. I also love to ask people, what is the number one thing you can be doing, right? The most profitable thing that you can do in the real estate business. And I'm going to give you this. The most profitable thing you can ever do is get ink on two forms, listing agreements and purchase agreements. So the bottom line is everything else, in my opinion, is BS. Your days really should be running around and getting, not running around anymore, we do it all virtually, right? But if you're not getting ink every day, then you're not working. And that's what I focus on agents with. It's about writing purchase agreements, writing listing agreements, everything else is what? Simply preparation. My goal was to always get one signature. I need to get one, one wet ink signature every single day, I promise whether it's a purchase agreement, a counteroffer, a price reduction, an inspection response. If you are collecting signatures every single day, you're doing more than most realtors and you're gonna be putting more money in your pocket. At the end of the day, I want you to ask yourself, did I get some ink? And if you did, uh, money will be coming. So these few things are your source, right? Just what we went through. And like, who are your three best mentors? That's a question you might want to write down. And how much do you study them? If you don't have them, I have a whole list of people that I studied. And who would you like to begin to study, right? The objectives that I'm trying to give you today in the next half an hour are to inspire you to increase your skill set, which I'm only going to be able to do very little, and to help you create this thing called a vision. Um, our processes we've talked about are the five fundamentals of success. And our goals is to get you to think, to think differently and to do your career differently and to get excited about your plan, increase your income, and increase your enjoyment. If you guys feel like you should be doing things differently, you should be thinking differently, that I'm not as excited about my plan as I want to be, but I do want to increase my uh, enjoyment and my income, hit me with some thumbs up so I know that you're with me. Let me see what's going on. Hit me with some thumbs up so I know you're engaged. Thanks, Michael, Angela, Anthony, Jat, that's it, baby. So it's going to happen. I promise you hang out with me. I'm going to make you more money than you've ever dreamed of. And then the question is, is what are you willing to do? I was also a football coach for 25 years, and you probably, those of you who are athletes, can guess by the tone and the loudness of me that uh, I'm probably sounding like a coach. But what are you willing to do, and I want you to just look at this, to own yourself, to own your clients, to own your financial freedom, to own your happiness, to own your attitude, to own your example, to own your motivation, to own your vision, to own your energy, to own your belief, your meaning, and your destiny, right? Look at all these things that we need to own, and I hope that you will do that, all right? So rule number one is, hey, guess what? You can't do it alone. We got to monetize our relationships by giving, not getting. And here's my question. What are you giving to the people in your sphere, to the people that are in your Facebook group, uh, to the real estate community at large, to other agents? What are you really giving? And do you have a plan to give? 
And how much time do you spend on a giving plan? Can you say social media? Now look at I got about 40,000 followers on all social media platforms, and I'm telling you this, um, I made $100,000 on social media in the last three months doing real estate. At my old company, they actually brought in a speaker that said, Facebook, you can't make money on Facebook with real estate. Well, I'm here to tell you that is complete BS. In order to attract, I must first become attractive. Hello, okay? So first of all, what am I giving? Second of all, am I attractive? How am I presenting myself? And who are you attracted to? Who could you mentor or be a mentee of? And what does it mean to be attractive? If you were a buyer or a seller, what would you be attracted to? There's a question that could be worth $100,000 to you. Who are you leading, right? Here's what I know. People that sell more, lead more. I don't know what the answer is for you. Here's the other thing I want you to know. I know you're going to say, Glenn, I know all this. Glenn, I know it all. But you know what? The question is, is how good am I at it? So when I give you all these little points and all these questions, don't say, Glenn, I already know this. I want you to say, Glenn, how good am I at it on a scale of 1 to 10? Rule number two, you need to have a vision, so you need to get one. Now, whether you have a vision or not, I don't know. But my guess is I speak to crowds all over America. 80% of people truly do not have a vision for their life. And uh, ultimately... I want you to think, study, and research what does vision mean, what does my life look like, uh, how am I dressing, what physical condition am I in, what does my bank accounts look like. Like, do you have this real crystal clear vision of what the hell you want to do with your life for the next one year, five years, and ten years, right? I do a lot of vision training. Again, I'm so limited on time, I just wish I could eat you guys up all day, but I can't, so... I'm just, what I'm trying to do is get inside your heads, get inside your hearts, so you say, there's more to life. There's more to my career. There's more to me than what I came here before, because I promise you that you are. And that's what vision does. Vision really is about the whole you, not the limited you. And do you see yourself, right? Do you see yourself as a limited person, or do you see yourself as much more than and you are manifesting it. See, your vision doesn't need to be realistic. One of the fun, most fun things I do with our students is we freaking create what we call our unrealistic vision. It's about a 30-minute exercise, and I have you write down everything that you don't think you can do, but you want to do. And when you start thinking about Boy, I'd run. I want to own an NFL football team. I'd like to have ten million dollars. I'd like to own five homes and five million dollar homes all over America. It's important that you guys dream. See, your dream is important, and that dream. We look at. We don't set goals for what we can get, right? We set goals for who we need to become, and the reason you want high goals, Glenn, I don't know all of this. I'm brand new. LOL. Love it. Love it, Danielle. Don't worry. You're going to be just fine. So much of this. Danielle, I was 19. I didn't know anything. But you know what? I had a hell of a lot of fun. I had a hell of a lot of passion. And people wanted to do business with me because I loved what I was doing. I couldn't even get, I couldn't believe I was getting paid to sell real estate, right? I worked third shift in a book bindery. Um, I did heavy construction. Trust me, this business is the best. Uh, but you need to know yourself first. All right, so anyway, we talked about vision. I'm going to keep going. How many of you knew that if you had your life to do over again, you would do more with it than what you have done? That's a horrible question. That's a really tough question. But as you sit here and think, and as you sit here and listen to me, look at you've all done great things. You're all at EXP. I'm sure you've done great things. But the bottom line is this. If you had to do it all over again, don't you think we could have done more, right? So when you have a clear vision, magnetic things occur. That's the secret. Um, and you draw things into your life. It's amazing synchronicities, people, places, things, and events. So get anything out of this today. What I want you to do is like hone in on who you want to be, what you want to do, what you want to have. Focus on that, and you'll be amazed at what you'll be able to see. But if you don't have a vision, you're probably living someone else's. So the one question I really want you to ask yourself is, am I living my vision or am I living somebody else's, right? I mean, sometimes 
chances are half of us in this room right now probably are living our vision through somebody else's eyes. We're living a vision that somebody else gave us. Uh, if you knew what you could do and you knew you could not fail, what would you attempt to do? That gets into that vision exercise. But really, I want you to just think about how much money would you spend on marketing? How much, what would you be doing if you knew you wouldn't fail? And to see yourself like that. See, being in real estate, it takes a courageous person. We get paid as much as lawyers and doctors at the highest end, right? I've been fortunate enough to close over a million dollars, right, in personal commissions in my, in my career in like one year. And that's crazy when you think about it. So if you think about, man, if I sold a million, what would I be doing for my client base? What would I be doing for my brand and my image? Be amazing. Rule number three, attitude is the second rule. What is your attitude? What are you bringing in terms of attitude to people that buy and sell? The definition of attitude, and again, I've written the book on attitude, is the way you dedicate yourself to the way you think, right? Napoleon Hill also said, you become what you think about all day long. And the question I'm asking you today is, what are you thinking about all day long? Are you tied up in your box? And that watching that BS on TV, like raise your hands if uh, you watch um, national news every night. Hello, like is is watching Fox, CNBC, CNN going to make you any money? Is it going to make you a better husband? Is it going to make you a better salesperson? Hell, no, it's not. So don't watch it. Right there, you go. I love it, guys. That's good. Cancel it all. Don't watch TV. Guys, we are thriving right now. You, now is the greatest time for you to differentiate yourself, for you to lead. Uh, if you guys want to check me out, you can also go to the University of Attitude Facebook page. Uh, I'll put that in here. I did 35 days of 13-minute attitude workouts on Facebook. And uh, if you go to the University of Attitude, you will see all 35 of those 13-minute workouts. Uh, just, just as people needed to work out physically, right, we needed to work out our mental attitude. And so uh, keep checking me out if you guys need to check up from the neck up. I ain't going to let you down. Um, so when does your attitude cost you money, a relationship, a client, an opportunity, your vitality, or your destiny? Tough question, right? But certainly we can all go throughout our lives and go, oh man, I did not show up right. I did not have the right mindset and it is uh, affecting my results. And so um, you guys are here, you're listening, you are um, participating. And I, I would say that your mindset and your attitude is right. Obviously we cannot find our future and our past. I'm not trying to have you look back too much uh, but sometimes we need to understand there's so much more. There's so much more potential in every single person that is on this call than you're giving yourself. And that's what the source of sales is about, right? It's about finding your source. I believe success and top salespeople and top attractors, they know what's going on inside their gut. And that's what I try to help you guys do. Three attitude killers. Look at people who did you wrong, people who are bad examples. And you know what? Sometimes they're the people you're married to and work with. Now, I don't want you to go home and get rid of your spouse, right? But the bottom line is this. You need to look at who you're hanging around. What do they have you reading? What do they have you saying? What do they have you listening to? And understand, is that good or not? There are thoughts in your head that drain your energy, prolong pain, block positive and creative thought, and they take fun out of your life. If we ain't having fun, right, it's one of our... One of our uh, goals for EXP is to have fun. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click through that, and I'm going to get us to prospecting mastery number two, and I'm going to spend just a few minutes on prospecting. Everybody's like, oh, my God, I don't want to prospect. I understand you don't want to prospect, but if you're new, and if you're not doing the numbers that you're doing, and you're not getting ink on paper every day, you're going to need to prospect. Well, the great idea and the great thing about prospecting, guys, there's 50 different ways to prospect, right? And so you get to pick how you want to prospect, and we create personalized prospecting mastery programs for people. But what I want to talk to you about is your mindset on prospecting, right? 
Here's why you prospect. Number one, it is your job. Okay, hello, people. I'm like this. You're If you're in real estate and you're not making money, your job is to prospect. And when people say, hey, what do you do for a living? I would say when, I'm, when I was broke and not producing, uh, yeah, I help people get involved in real estate, right? So just so you know, Tommy Hopkins, who is here all the time, I've been with Tommy for 25 years. I've been to 30 of his things. We're dear friends, and he's good. But yeah, it is funny. But guys, if you're not doing 48 transactions a year, trust me, your job is to prospect. And I'm going to walk through that. Your future in sales depends on it. I love pro uh, Angela. That's great. When I'm in a live audience, I make everybody say, I love prospecting. Guys, if you'll just type in, I love prospecting, trust me, you're going to feel better. I would love to see that happen. These are the five reasons you want to prospect. Number one, it's your job. Number two, you will have no future if you do not depend on prospecting. Number three, it gives you momentum, and it gives you a feeling of accomplishment. Look at, I know that there are people that get down in real estate, right? There are people who are like, man, I just don't know that this is for me. A good, healthy dose of prospecting is going to give you momentum. It's going to help you feel more vital about your career, and it's going to give you the energy to succeed. So if you're somebody that's here that's, that's doubting yourself, I'm telling you right now, get your ass out there and go knock on a few doors. Call some buy owners. Call some for rents. Go see some uh, uh, garage sale people. There's plenty of stuff you can do. It also prevents you from emotional and financial pitfalls. Right, one of the oldest real estate sayings in the in the world is how many people have too much month at the end of their money? Hello. Okay, well, you won't if you continuously see people. It's the best single way to build your sphere of influence. Now I'm gonna give this to you. Your sphere of influence is simply defined as this: it's people who like you, people who trust you, and people who refer you business. The question is, and you type it in here, how do you know that somebody likes you? Go ahead ahead and type that in for me real quick. How do you know somebody likes you? I'm glad I'm here. We got some people typing. How do I know? They tell me they like me. Yeah, have you have you ever told somebody, no, I like you, but you know what? You really don't like them. They refer you. They answer the phone. Yeah, I've had my phone answered, but I don't like, sometimes I don't like it. They say so. People are liars. They don't block you. All right, I'm going to tell you why. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. You can stop talking. Here's how you know somebody likes you. This is the God's honest truth, and this is the number one thing real estate agents don't get when I train them. You like them. You like them. That's how they know they like you. The way you feel about somebody is the way they feel about you. If you do not like your clients, they probably do not like you either. And so, like, you need to get hip to that, and you need, I got a whole series on don't do business with people you don't like because they don't like you either, all right? So just be thinking about that because we bitch and complain about our clients all the time. Thanks, Angela. Um, and uh, the bottom line is they're thinking the same way about us. I'm going to talk to you about prospecting. Look, I'm running out of time. I'm not even going to get through the five pillars, but that's okay. We'll pick it up later. The CACC formula, contacts, appointments, contracts, and closings. I don't know if you're closing 48 deals, but here's the deal. I'm going to give you my formula to make 125000 in commissions. Number one, you need to know your numbers backwards and forwards. The question is, do you really know your numbers backwards and forwards? So here's the deal. If your average commission is $300 per home, right? Desired income is DI. I want to make 125. Average commissions 5362. That means I need 23 closings to make 125,000. Okay? Got it. CACC, contacts, appointments, contracts, closings. So my goal, we got to reverse engineer this. I got to sell 23 homes. Well, how many appointments do I need? And I'm, when I mean appointments, I mean showing a home to a buyer that can give you ink. And I mean getting face-to-face, knee-to-knee, belly-to-belly with a seller who can give you ink. You book 135 appointments and only close five, right? Out of those, you're going to get 27 contracts. Excuse me, divided by five, you're going to get 
27 contracts. Why did I divide it by five? I'm saying that you're going to close 20% of the appointments you go into. Now look it. Trust me, if you if you go to the source of sales and work with me, you're going to close a hell of a lot more than 20%. But if you book 135 appointments, close 20% of those, you're going to write 27 deals. So your 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 whole goal in life needs to be I got to get 135 appointments with ink signers. So how many contacts do I need to make? Well, you're going to have to talk to 1,350 people, right? And you're going to close 10% of those, right? So you're going to get 135 appointments by talking to 1,350 people. Now, here's what I always love to ask our students and, and the audiences that I talk to. If somebody said, I'm going to pay you $125,000, to talk to 1,350 people, how many of you would take that freaking job? All of you would, would be my guess. Like, look it, you've all had horrible jobs, right? I've had horrible jobs. But the bottom line is, if all I got to do is dress up, uh, be nice, and talk to 1,350 people to make 125 grand, hell, I'll take that job all day, right? So there's your CACC formula. You got to make 1,350 contacts. That gets you a 10% closing ratio on appointments. That gets you 27 deals. Four will fall. There's your income of 125. Let me say it to you this way. Guys, look it. If I said I'd like to, and girls, I'd like to pay you $125,000 a year, and all you had to do is work 100 days where you talk to 13 and a half people, how many people would take that job? Hello, can you say social media? That's a great great way to bump your contacts. So why don't we prospect, right? We find more important things to do. We procrastinate, which means we live yesterday, avoiding today, thus ruining tomorrow, right? We don't prospect because we're chicken, we're fearful, we're lazy, it's not fun, it's embarrassing, and I'm not good at it. Well, you stay with me through SOS, we'll overcome all that. See, what people can do is very different from what they will do. Can everybody in this room, we're up to 307. I love you guys. It's great. We busted 300. Can everybody agree that you can call 13 and a half people for 100 days? I mean, hello. Guys, we can do it. <laughs> That's right, Tony. I was a graduate of Tony's uh, mastery. I've done all his stuff. Paid him hundreds of thousands of dollars, and, you know, it is what it is. You got to invest in yourselves, guys. You got to invest in yourselves. Tommy Hopkins, who stood on this stage, I actually spoke at the convention. I had about 20 people in my room. I said, oh, crap, Tom Hopkins is in the other room. You guys all ran to him. Maybe if I get another opportunity to come from the stage, you'll hook up with me, right? But successful people do the things unsuccessful people are afraid to do every day. You guys are here. There's plenty of unsuccessful agents in EXP. But you guys are the rock stars. You're here. Very proud that you're here, and I'm honored that you're listening to me. And so we, we need to figure out how do we get leverage over our crappy attitudes when it comes to going out and prospecting. And what you need to do is write down how much your life and your business will suck if you do not prospect, right? Because you're not going to make the money. You're not going to have the energy. You're not going to have the momentum, and it ain't happening for you. So get leverage and say, man, if I don't prospect, that's the problem. See, I was a for sale by owner king. I got a whole thing on that. But the bottom line is this, man. I It was too painful to not knock on the buy owner's door. Why? Because I was 19. I had a kid that I had to feed. And when you're broke, you know, hopefully a lot of you are broke because I'll be talking to you. Right? 200 calls a day. I love it. Well, hell, you should be a millionaire if that's the case. So um, I'm going to skip through this, and I love this. Uh, I'm going to do this. How many people, go ahead and write this, the one-word definition for referral, okay? The one-word definition for referral. Go ahead and write it in. And I think Wendy Colt needs to mute because she's getting in there. Paid, money, gold, broke, trust, repeat business, love, money, trust. Hey, Wendy, can you uh, mute your mic maybe? Hello? Okay, thank you, Wendy. All right, I'm going to tell you, see, none of you got it. This is good. Thank God none of you got it. Oh, there it is. 
Michael Straley, awesome job. Michael, you are the man. You should be teaching this course, right? Guys, understand when we talk about prospecting and referrals, it's a risk to refer you. And you need to understand that. You need to say, okay, am I a person that can accept and am I a risk when people refer me? If you are not getting referral business and have been into it, chances are people are thinking you're too risky and through social media, right, you are going to say, yeah, um, that's the case. So, guys, I only got through two of the five pillars, and I'm so sorry, uh, but I'm sure I can come back and we can, we can do the other three pillars at a later date. I want to respect your time. You've been so freaking good, man. I feel the energy. This is so wild. I'm used to standing on stage, and I hope that at some point in the uh, future, I'm going to be able to, and I'm a hugger. I'll hug every one of you. I ain't, I ain't going to get crushed by the coronavirus. We'll go through listing mastery, buyer mastery, and value mastery. If you go to Source of Sales on my Facebook page, uh, we're going to get a big group of people, and we're going to have stuff just like this every single week. So go to Source of Sales. Follow me at the University of Attitude on Facebook, Attitude Movement on Facebook. Also, check me out at the Glenville Speaker page. My personal page is filled up. Thank you, guys. You're so sweet. I really, I just love you guys. This is great. I, I, if you had fun, give me some thumbs up. I do have time to answer some questions. So if you want to, um, you know, ask, I'm going to give you the raw and real answer. Love you guys. Thank you so much, man. You guys are awesome. What question can I, an what question can I answer for you? Anybody want to raise, it looks like we have somebody raising their hand. I have no idea how the hell to work that, but whoever's got your hand up, let me know or come up on stage and ask me the question. Anybody? Guys, if you've got a question, go ahead and open up your mics if you've got questions. If you're raising your hand, go ahead and just open up your mic and ask Glenn, or you can put it in that chat box below. Rock and roll. You guys are great. What's the Facebook page again? Oh, good. It's hot. It's called Source of Sales. Source of Sales, S-O-U-R-C-E, Source of Sales Facebook page. I think I also have a Source of Sales EXP page as well. But if you just go into Facebook, type in Source of Sales, it's high performance selling for realtors and loan originators. Hopefully you have it. And somebody, I think, put a link in. Thank you so much, Cindy. I appreciate you doing that. And uh, I will let you in after this. I'll get on, jump on, and let everybody in. And then um, next week, oh, that's great, Angela. Um, next week we will be going live and, um, you will be getting more of this stuff delivered from me. Um, and then we will be doing live seminars. I'm not sure when that's going to hit, but, uh, anybody from Sioux Falls, I'm going to be speaking in Sioux Falls for the hundred year celebration of their board of realtors. I do a lot of realtor work, uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, association. So if you are in, um, Sioux Falls, I, I'm coming there in October to rock your world for three hours. Uh, what else? Anybody have a question about listings, buyers, mindset, um, how to succeed, how to start? What's your biggest problem? What keeps you up at night? What pisses you off about this business? Where do you Ask. find listing mastery? Pardon me? Where do you find listing mastery? Where do I find it? Where, yeah, where can I find it? Right. Well, you can find it uh, if you go to gbunlimited.com, right? That's where my, that's my, uh, I'll type that into gbunlimited.com. It's in our source of sales course. Again, that's about a, about a two hour training that we do. And, and the bottom line is this, I will teach you how to absolutely own a seller. Like when I go into listing appointments, very rarely do I walk out without a listing at my price at full commission. And listing mastery is truly about um, asking questions uh, that force the seller to do what you want them to do. Um, and it's it's about a lot more than that. But if you go into if you go into gbunlimited.com, hit source of sales, let me know. You can buy the course if you want to see it there. I'd be happy to send that to you with the workbook. Um, I have live video with me doing Listing Mastery. And uh, maybe at some point uh, at EXP, we'll say, Glenn, we want you to do Source of Sales. 
and uh, we, we got students all over America, and it's fun, but the idea is this. I've been in real estate for 31 years. I've been I've taken training courses from everybody. And and the bottom line is my training is from a person that's been face to face and still continues to be face to face. This is real estate training by an agent for agents. And it's no BS and it's really real and it's a ton of fun. We d definitely have a ton of fun and I'm sorry I ran out of time. So hopefully that answers. All right, what else? Anything else? Tell me your biggest challenges. Tell me like, tell me what you can't get over. Tell me the biggest issue you're having right now. Hey, guys. So I'm going to just jump in really quickly. We're going to give a last call on questions. We'll give Glenn about five minutes to take the rest of your questions. But I want to call your attention to the survey link in that public chat box. Please make sure to show Glenn some love. Let him know what an amazing job he did by clicking on that link and taking that survey. And as I said, last call for questions. And we're going to wrap up in about five minutes. Thanks, Glenn. Thank you. I, I see one. This is really good. I love this. I'll talk to you about this. Hey, coming up with the right words to say to a new lead, right? So here's the deal. Uh, my goal was always 20 contacts a day. And I would ask three questions, right? And that's, that's in here somewhere. And the questions I would ask are, number one, uh, do you own real estate? Number two, would you like to? Number three, do you like where you live now? So those were the three questions I would ask all the time. Hey, I'm just curious, do you own any real estate? No. Would you like to? Yeah. Boom. Buyer lead. Uh, yeah, I do own real estate. Well, do you like where you live now? Look at everybody's pissed off anymore. Nobody likes where they live now, especially with coronavirus. Like you think about, you know, people are sick of their homes. This might be the best time to do that. The other um, questions that I love to ask is, Hey, I'm curious, who do you refer your real estate business to? Great question, guys. Who do you refer your real estate business to? No one. Well, would it be all right if you would consider, right, referring your real estate business to me? Sure, Glenn, I don't have a problem with that. Great. I'm going to email you, Facebook friend you, whatever you do. And if there's any friends, family, or business associates that I can serve, I would be more than honored, right, to talk to them. That's how you build your referral base. So those are two different sets of questions, extremely powerful. You're right. The biggest problem with real estate and realtors is we don't know what the hell to say. So my source of sales system is um, packed full of scripts and language that works. Why do I know that it works? Because I have failed more than anybody in this room when it comes to selling, and my closing ratio is out of the charts good. Let me see if there's any other question I can ask, answer real quick. Anybody have anything else they want to know? Well, I, I believe we are online at 997, but I will create a, uh, if you just email me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, sell the system for 497 to you guys and send it out. I'm telling you, the 21 ways to beat the commission objection um, I've made people forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars because if you have twenty-one ways to reply to a seller who's trying to bang down your commission, my email is Glenn at Glenville.com. Um, or just hit me on the EXP. I'm one of you guys. Guys, I'm one of you, man. Um, so you can get me through the EXP stuff too, but Glenn at Glenville.com is probably the best thing. Um, look at sellers, they're uncomfortable. If you understand first that sellers are more uncomfortable than you are when they're chasing your commission, um, it's important. Yeah, that is the SOS 2.0 system. That is correct, John. You got it. And we got a great little workbook for you too. I'd love to have you all with me in person at some point in the future. You're going to love it. Um, so what were the first three questions? I love it. Um, the, hopefully you guys got that. Um, and I have that and I can provide that. The questions that I always, whoa, I love it. Hey, yeah, guys, check me out on LinkedIn too. Will you hit me on LinkedIn? I got all kinds of stuff going on there too. Uh, the, the questions I would ask is, do you own real estate? Would you like to own real estate? And are you happy where you live? And then with a new prospect, also I would ask, who do you currently refer your real estate business to? 
would you consider referring me your real estate business? Okay. And then the third question, I, I forget what it was because I'm rolling them um, all. Facebook group is source of sales. Source of sales. You guys were awesome, man. I had so much fun with you today. Any other questions that you would like to know? Ah! I don't know why I can't. There we go. Back it up. Duh. I've typed in a source of sales, but it's just source of sales, so you know. All right. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get uh Glenn Sanford on the Get Attitude podcast. If any of you guys know him, uh we'd sure love to get him on. If any of you guys um please subscribe We're on every platform I'm on iHeart. Uh if any of you guys uh have somebody that's completely amazing that has an unreal story or an unreal attitude that can benefit our listeners on about like how to get from where you are to where you want to be and how to get from who you are to who you want to become, send them to me and I will interview them. This month we are focusing on controlling your emotions and I got the love designer, Renee PNA. So if any of you women or men are looking for love, we're dropping her podcast. Uh, then we have a life coach and a health coach, Beth McKinley, next week. And then we have uh, my brother will be on in, in the third week about controlling your emotions. He is a he is a uh, mental health counselor and addictions counselor. And man, like his podcast was freaking ridiculous. So uh, when it comes to controlling your emotions, if you have problems with that, you're going to want to uh, check that out for sure. All right, what else do we got here? Please let us for you to take staff. Oh yeah, please take a staff survey and say we want to see Glenn in person at the next uh, event. I am so sorry that I didn't get to steps three, four, and five, but if you join our private Facebook group, you're going to be able to get. Uh, why aren't people calling me? People aren't calling you because, Rob, you're not putting out the information that forces them to call you, right? That That's a big one. So it's like you got to be broadcasting uh, information that buyers and sellers want. You need to put yourself in the position of a buyer or a seller and say, how is a buyer or a seller? What are the, and here's a great way to do it. What are the 10 questions that people ask you all the time? Start your Facebook page, start an email campaign and say, hey, these are the 10 questions people ask me all the time, right? Do I buy first or sell first? Um, what's a home inspection? Home inspection. Should I offer full price? And then make that the title of your value communication. Because look at everybody asks realtors the same 10 questions. So start there, do a daily Facebook post, LinkedIn post, email post, featuring the questions that everybody, everybody asks real, asks estate, real estate agents. Agent. And trust me, they will, they engage, will engage and they will start, they will calling, start calling you. you. What advice what can advice you give, can to, you mentors give to mentors who hold their, who mentees, hold their mentees accountable? accountable. Fire their, Fire ass, their ass if they don't, if they do, don't do what you what? say. I don't, I, don't, I don't even do mentoring because it's like uh, the mentor mentoree relationship is usually one sided and unproductive. Um, and so I got my whole thoughts on that, but that's a great question. The bottom line is if you're not going to do what I say, you're, you're out and they know it. And I make them pay me too if you want me to mentor you. And plenty of people do. Can we get the slide? The slides are proprietary. I'm sorry. Facebook group, again, is source of sales. Uh, let's see what else. Price of the system. I'm going to give it to EXP members for $497. Best closing tips at a listing presentation taken from the greatest, greatest guy, Floyd Wickman, right? The greatest closing question or Mr. and Mrs. Seller, are there any more questions? Here's the other thing I would tell you. Some of the greatest, I'll give just give them to you. You should be asking each seller, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, if you could close your eyes and imagine yourself in 45 to 60 days, what does that look like? That is called future casting. And you want them to start telling you, I see myself in my new home. I see myself in my new screen porch. We got an offer on the first day for full price and closed in 30 days and make them go through that exercise. Then what you want to ask them is Mr. and Mrs. Seller, Please tell me the three most important considerations that you are going to um, ask or go through when selecting your agent. And then that's like your whole listing presentation, guys. That's what I used to do, Mr. Miss Seller. 
you could tell me the three most important considerations that you're going to be considering when hiring a real estate agent. They'd say, well, we want to be able to trust you. We want to make sure you get us the highest price. And um, uh, we, we want you to have uh, success in the area. You know what I'd do? I'd give them five, re five answers for each one of those three, and they would list the property with me. So that's good. Uh, let's see. What are the three first questions? We already did that. I don't know if we got any more. I hope you guys had fun with me. Uh, I don't want to talk about the commissions I charge, but I can tell you it's more than anybody else in our marketplace, and my people feel good. Does farming work? Yes. Hell yes, farming works, but poor farming doesn't work, right? Shitty farming does not work. Really good farming, that works. I can teach you how to farm. I will also teach you how to do what is called occupational farming, um, which is really, really good. The podcast is the Get Attitude Podcast. We are everywhere. And, uh, man, we would love, we'd love you to jump on, and I would sure love to uh, – um, I'd sure love to have you or whoever. What's your brother's podcast? My dad is a, it's not my brother's. My brother was a guest. My podcast is the get attitude podcast and they, Oh, good. Somebody put a link to the podcast in there so you can subscribe on your favorite, uh, deal, man. If I only had two hours with you guys, we'd be rocking the house, but I promise you, this isn't the last time you're going to hear from me. You follow me, Glenn Bill. Get me on Facebook, LinkedIn. Hey, my YouTube channel, you guys will love that. There's a bunch, there's a bunch of, uh, I got like 300 videos on YouTube. Um, and so if you jump on there and subscribe, we're going to be redoing that and creating some really cool stuff, training. Here, training. There's my YouTube link. And, you know, I just got little 30-second stuff. Long Island, Queens, New York. I like it. Uh, just hope everyone enjoyed the session. We need to begin wrapping up. Okay, guys. All right. Thank you so much, Glenn. We appreciate you. Everyone, make sure to click on that link. Awesome. Show some love that way. So Glenn some love so that we can bring him back. So if you love this session, make sure to click on that link. Complete this survey. Glenn, thank you so much. We're going to make way for our next presenter.